<laughs> All right. No harm, no foul. Apparently, according to Snake. Um. So. All right. Let's be very careful with our our sleep deprived clicking here. All right. So we got. Camera real quick. Before we get into this. So the Omnis Blaster is interesting. Um, Rhythmic Arc and Black Box Neo for the specials. Hilt Slam for some ability. Quick Change is just a staple for Thalia A, like, for the point of running it. Turbo Switch is a solid reaction. The Steam Cannon. It's decent. Even if you hit Aura, it's okay. The Thalia reaction combust. Yes, it's combust and maneuver. So you, it's yeah. probably how Shed is planning on dropping his uh, machine tokens for Black Box Neo. All right. And uh, Burning Steam is a what? One, a two-one maneuver? Or... Yeah. Okay. Yep. Two-one maneuver. Two-one maneuver. Okay. The nice thing then, about Burning uh, Steam is you can play it even when you're out of fuel because of that. All right. What's the Black Box Neo? What does it do? Um. So that's a little complicated. Black Box Neo is terminal, first of all, and then when you play it, you recover an artificial stagger token, and if you have none on your Black Box Neo, it, uh, you move a Sakura from, or sorry, if you have no artificial Sakura tokens that are burned when you do that, you move a Sakura token from Shadow onto the card, and then if there are two after that, you complete one of your transformations. Oh, okay. That's cool. And right, it I doesn't it. resurge until you have three or fewer tokens. Okay, so you, kinda, I see. you have to go like up and down on your tokens to cause that to trigger and flex. All right, we're already down to range six. Um, Shadow has the turbo switch in hand, so pretty safe from what Snake <laughs> do here. Yep. So interesting that he had the blade dance, but I guess he wanted to wait till he can follow up. Yeah, because in that case, he probably just either. He probably just recovers or advances. He has two vigor, so he probably just would have burned like a couple of vigor to move up or something. But then the blade dancer just lose value, so it's fine. Him having string rush, um, let's see what he opts for here. A little aura lock for string rush. I mean, he has a two one. Yep, but, and um, uh, snake is also running the uh, move forward or cancel if the aura is full reaction. I find kind of like it. It's an interesting one because it I don't really expect it can catch you off guard. But it also can be it kind of feels weak for a special me. This one is a Actually not super good in this matchup, is it? It um it can hit rhythmic arc. Yeah, but it didn't though, right? Or no, it did hit rhythmic arc. He does have rhythmic arc. Yep. You're right. That's brutal. It's brutal, especially if he gets it first. But even if, even if Shadow Rhythmic arcs first, then he can just kind of ignore the mechanism and give him a taste of his own special. Get the I got a two-one maneuver coming down here. Oh, he's running the downsing too. That's gonna be, yeah, pretty spooky stuff here. All right. Takes it. So Kuru has a lot of uh, Kuru A has a lot of interactions with um discard piles. Um I think Snake is specifically running Dowsing and Well Dowsing actually interacts with the main deck, so but the other one is Analyze. Which we have in hand here. It's kind of trickier to get the mechanisms than some of Kuru's other cards because it's got all the varieties, but other than skill, I guess. Or action. Um, so you can choose one of your own cards in your discard pile or a random one from your opponent. And usually you do this to do life ping by choosing an attack card, which also will enable your own mechanism. Or you can choose like a throughout attack to get throughout mechanisms without having to play throughout cards. Um, yeah, and the yeah. opponent having to put a card into their discard pile, it's like not usually that big of a deal, but sometimes it can. It is, um, 
Is he running a uh, Drain Devil? I don't think so. No, he's not. Okay. He's running two of Corunas. Uh, he's got the uh, the reaction that cancels with Oracle, and he has um the two three that fills Aura with Frost tokens. If yep. if it takes Aura. And then his last one is uh, what crew special? The Godly Intervention what? Simulator. Oh, that's right. That's right. The one we use the special. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Now, how does Snake follow this up? Because he can only get the range. No, he can get the 2-2. Two -two. But he doesn't really have the flare to follow up. What is that? Good lord. That was some crazy card movement. Hot meat kettle. Um... Yeah, and I think looks like he's gonna opt for it. Yeah, I mean it's not terrible. Well, I mean he does have to worry. Wait, is that range four? Is that token needs to be gone? Um, no. if it's on a blank space, then it's increasing the range. If it's if it's covering a token, then it's decreasing it. So in this yeah. case, the range is he can't actually get in range unless he discards Mosul, which is painful. I don't know. I wonder if he thought he could hit him. Because honestly, that great token blended into the background for me. But uh, it might just be the stream. But Yeah, I remember those being yellow on this mod before. But Okay, it looks like he's just going to action up. Probably take a focus here. Yeah, I mean, if he's taking a basic action, there's nothing else, really. Unless he's undoing his own action. But I don't think Snake's shy about asking for a refund. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> this sets up right. his own um, special reaction, too. This is a little dangerous. He should definitely discard the Silent Wall to focus one. And then... Um, actually, no, in that case, no, the token burns off. Yeah, so in that case, he should probably discard the Silent Wall to maybe retreat one, Rhythmic Arc, and then... Set up some other stuff, or maybe not. I'm mean, not rhythmic arc. Um, it's not a. Arc. It's not a great time to sign that wall, just because there's not enough shadow. But and you yeah, discard all that stuff down. But yeah, it can, can be okay to hold on to it. It lets you kind of just tank for a turn. Yeah, I mean, playing silent wall here is. No, you wouldn't play it here. You but you might hold it for a future turn. He, well, he's not running out class. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I should probably just discard it. Out class so with turbo switch would be kind of like. Impressive, in a way. Yeah, you did not pour it because that's the thing. As I said, uh, I talked about this earlier with alternates. You kind of have to cater to what your alt, your um, alternate does. So it costs them a lot of base resources, which isn't bad because he is actually running what the alternate does. But it does cost other resources. So in this example, him having to potentially get rid of outclass among other things to enable, like you know, the black box and the other tools that help it out seems to be rather worth it here. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't run out class and, and turbo switch both. I just think that would be a very defensive approach. Which, like, I, I'd be interested to see a, a setup like that working. But yeah, uh, I don't know I'm that still, I could. I'm still in the market for a third Megami. I'm not sold on Yurina, so I might pick her up. Either that or maybe something like Obro. I'm assuming he's just going to take two to Aura and one to Life. I don't think he should do anything else. He's debating doing the reaction there, but... I expect Snake to react here, since he needs the reaction tag for his mechanisms. Mm, that's actually a very good point. That is a permanent reaction tag. That's, that actually is probably why he's running the card. Oh, Meg. Well, the voice in large clarity. Part. The voice of clarity comes through. <laughs> I see. Yeah, this... In that case, yeah, having the reaction in this pool is pretty bonkers. So. And he's not planning on doing a lot of resurging, so he gets more value out of this than Drain Devil. Also true. I keep forgetting the way Drain Devil works. I always get Drain Devil mixed up with that um, Utsuro passive, the one that sucks your aura or your, um, your flare. Okay, so this is probably going to be an Asura form, but maybe not. He is about to reshuffle, so Kanari isn't really off the table either.
Let's see what we got. Oh, it's Asura. Okay. I don't know that you necessarily want a 3-2 in Dora right now, though. And flinch yourself for discarding a card. Like, if you connected with that Swing Rush, then that would be a, a very solid follow-up, I think, but... Yeah, he's able to get to R3 to avoid it, so... Thinking about it, what do you want to do? The transform does what? It's a 3 2? It what? does a, it lets you as a basic action make a range 3 or 5 3 2 attack that flinches you after attack. Well, the transform is triggered as well. No, 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 no. When you quick oh. change, you don't get the transform effect. Oh, when you quick change, you don't get the transform. Okay. Only when you do the full change. And the, the Asura form one is you take the top card of their discard pile and put it into their played pile twice. Once at a time, each time. I don't, I don't know why it's worded that way, but I assume there's some interaction I'm not aware of. There is one specific interaction of one of her other transforms. Looks like they are not in a call, clearly. So it looks like he is opting for the basic uh, action. Also, notably, if, if Snake had some way of avoiding the attack, the after attack would not trigger and Shadow Fury would not become flinched. I see. Makes sense. Because, yeah, because it's after attack. If the attack doesn't go off, the after attack does not. Looks like a fairly... I don't know. It's so hard to read crew matches, but the match seems fairly even so far. I don't think anyone's taking a noticeable lead. Lots of interactions going on, though. It is nice to see. Lots of action. Shadow Fury uh, not taking down his enhancement quite as fast as Snake would like. Uh, being technical, you think they tick down before you draw, but yeah. no one likes to do that. Well, it's Snake's turn also, so... Uh, the Sakura from Enhancement should be good to say too. Yeah, I need to move it down. <laughs> Snake just gonna take it. I'm just waiting for it to happen. Oh, there we go. Yep. All right. Discarding so... Reflecto. Because he. Has, has no mechanism here. Would that mean he's also passing on using Godly Intervention Simulator this reshuffle? Definitely on using it, the mechanism effect, I would think. Because I believe you need two enhancements for that one, right? You need a, a Thora of things, but let's see here. Yeah, two enhancement, three actions, and two attacks. Since one of the cool things about Reflector is you can play it out even if you don't meet the mechanisms, and it will still be an enhancement in your play pile. That's true. And you can also use that with um, Shinra's Prove the Nature to just life paying too. Looks like he's going to opt for another attack. And it, it's a 3-2 a attack and he flinches himself? Yep. It can only be used All once right. per turn also. Yeah, it makes sense. Very aggressive stance, but at the same time, you don't really mind that as much with Sine because you have idea. So, I mean, he can get, what, 2 damage to life here, right? Um, actually, I don't know the range of um, burning steam. It's 3 to 5, so yeah, you can get 2 right. life either way. I think you can potentially get three even if you open with the two one and he takes a Dora. Well, no, you can't because he doesn't have the actions. I take it back. Oh, he's opting for a little bit. Oh, oh no, yeah, you have to pay a basic action. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he's only going to get a one 
one attack, one to life. And the maneuver comes out to decrease the range to range two. And it looks like this is gonna, it's enhancement going to fizzle out after his turn. Yep, and uh, I think it's got pretty good odds of drawing into Cyclone. Yeah. Uh, is Shadow Fairy bringing Neo Black Box? Yes. yes. I'm surprised he hasn't used it yet this match. Because that's a card that takes a long time to gather steam, especially if you aren't gathering steam. He's actually running Black Box Neo, and he's running the uh, the Omni Blaster. So, like, I would think his game plan would be to transform with all haste, but so I guess he's probably gonna open up right with a play the two two, which was Cyclone or something. Yep, Cyclone Blade. Cyclone. Um, I don't know why he would not. Um, yeah, there's not really a reaction that Shadow Fury can offer here. Yeah. There is the Silent Icebreaker, I think, which is a 1-1 one -one attack. That's true. Oh, I see. Yeah, good, good to play around that from Snake. Taking the aura first, very good, very good awareness from Snake there. So now I would say at this point, uh, Snake has definitely taken a lead in the match. Um, Shadow Fear really hasn't got his black box transform thing going. Um, Snake's been able to apply a reasonable amount of pressure. I think and... Snake could almost uh, well. He might just be able to steal quick change just to be annoying on Shadow Fury's reshuffle here. If he uh, douses it. But... No. Yeah, maybe just gonna play more conservatively. There's no need to to not tank up at this point. I mean he could try to get uh, extend his lead a little bit. But yeah, the flinch. Alright, that's off. actually really good since getting to three aura plays around that. Yeah, the cannon. A temper throughout steam cannon. Getting getting hit by that by that card in the wrong time is yeah, that's a that's a backbreaker. I'll give credit. Snake's actually playing quite well this one. I think he should just play the Steam Cannon in this situation, though, right? Uh, well, maybe no, it's a little risky. Yeah, but I think a lot of his attack are gone. I threw out I mean, with one aura. I mean, the problem is, is that it doesn't matter, right? Because he either gains two aura or he just does three aura damage. I mean, all right, so he's going to opt for like, Oh, okay. Wow, this is extremely aggressive. Holy moly. <laughs> The zero aura play with zero cards. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you probably should just take two. Um, Shadow Fury, to my knowledge, is not. Oh, this is actually just almost game, isn't it? Isn't he just going to crew to romp at him? And then we're all going to be. Oh, uh, yeah, that's going to be a three life hit. So Shadow Fury is not running any reactions in his pool, is he? I know he's got the he's black running box. not in his special pool. He's got yeah. Turbo Switch in there, which he would surely like to have in his hand now. So it's Rhythmic Arc, the black box, and then the transform damage yeah. equal to the amount of time you transform. Yep. Which yeah, is this why, is going to hurt. Which is why I'm really like wondering why we haven't seen Neo yet. I'm wondering if he's going to use it now, or if he's just, like, if his game, if he just decided somewhere in the early turns of the game that he just wants Rhythmic Arc as soon as possible.
Yeah. I mean, either if you believe three black boxes, though, there's still, I mean, he'll trigger and he'll get a transform off, correct? No, he won't get a transform oh. off until he has two on there. He has to trigger it twice. And to resurge oh. it, he has to get his tokens down to three, his machine tokens. Ah. All right, well, I'm assuming that Snake's just going to go for the three life, because three life is pretty good. Yep, and then next turn we'll see probably the Rhythmic Arc come down from Shadow Fury in response. Yeah, but I mean, what does he do? He can some. Is it? It's four, correct? To do the. To do the ice uh, Kuna Rampe. Uh, I think that's right. So let's see. A one, F one, R one. I mean, in recover one, and then just do it. So he gets two aura, and then the rhythmic arc isn't super good. No, oh, no, it's opting for something else. Well, I mean, you can do a lot of things when you have when you have Mosul in play. It's just so much economy. Like even now, you could just play this, scoot up one, and then. Focus one. Oh, it's just it's just better the A one though, isn't it? Just by playing, discarding it. Get the extra aura. Well, you could also get the aura too. You could move up and get the aura. But I mean, that's basically what you'd be doing. <laughs> you move up twice, I guess, if you really wanted to. Figures for the advance, and he's revealed the analyze. On the table. Probably going to choose something from his own. It looks like he's choosing from his own. So an attack card. Okay, so it's a life thing. Be careful with that. He moves up with the Mosul action. Yeah. As mm -hmm. long as he doesn't hit five aura, so he plays around um, final stage. Moves to uh, range one, and then muzzles a recover. Yeah, this is just so bad. Wait, now he's not in range, isn't it? It's a two three, isn't it? Yep. So he doesn't look like he's planning on doing that this turn. Okay. It's like he wants to shore up his resources and not give his opponent the rhythmic arc. I mean, I guess, but I mean, he could have done it at three aura, and like Rhythmic Arc does like four, so he would have taken one to life, and Shadow would have dumped all his things. The reason I actually really don't like this now is because now he has five um, flares, so his like window of opportunity is gone to play around final stage as well. So, it seems really odd to not take it with a guaranteed three life. It doesn't really make sense to me to not uh, take it. I like his conservative play. <laughs> He he does have the ability to reveal the final stage if he gets his um his simulator up. So he doesn't he won't have to play around it once he procs that and he is sitting on three flares, so that might be his intention here. Alright. Well or now uh, it looks like he's probably gonna he's gonna have to go through his deck a third time for that, right? Because he already put his reflect on bottom. I guess he could have revealed that with his analyze. Yeah. But that would be for going a life thing, so not necessarily Whoa. great. Also another interesting play. Um, I don't know why he just didn't silent wall there. Cannon wasn't very good. I mean, he essentially would have gained himself four aura net, sort of. Um, discarding the cannon there seems odd to me. Yeah, sitting at six aura without having a full aura seems like it would be pretty, pretty nice. I mean, better than one. discarding. Yeah, better at discarding one card to get an aura, in my opinion. But now, he's, now he's just range locked, and Snake wins the long game. So this is looking pretty disastrous right now for uh, Shadow, unless he really finds a way. He needs to combust so he can get the other trigger on his um, special here. Right, is that how it works? He needs to yeah, he, one if he uh, plays the turbo switch, he'll go down to three, and his ability will resurge at the end of this turn. Now he's shot. All right. So 
But now this should be a bit of a kind of an interesting game. Now we're locked at R1, and no one really wants to change it, it seems. Um, well, Snake can just sit here and, and analyze range one. Nasty. He can also burn every reshuffle at range one. Yep. So it's up to Shadow Fairy to step out of this range first. I think the, the game plan for Snake here is just to try and get his similar up. This, this pass through the deck, so he doesn't have to worry about what he's playing around anymore. And he's fine to sit here and, and passively do that at range one. I mean, I don't know. I guess. I personally would have opted for the more aggressive play of just dealing three life, but I mean, I guess this is pretty solid too. It exhibits a lot more control, it seems. So he has to play at least one of the attacks, so going for the closer range one makes sense here. Interesting thing is, if Shadow Fury reacts to it, there will be a movement shift right after that, before the attack resolves. Will Shadow Fury choose the... Okay. So now, now Snake can increase the range and still hit with the attack. Janky. It does mean it will be range 4 at Shadow Fury's turn if he does that, though. Yes. All right, Where? he takes it to his own aura, probably to get idea up. Well, I mean, he could have taken one to his aura, right, and then one to the silent wall. Mm, oh, yeah, he does have silent wall to divide it between. He may have just forgot that. Wah, wah. Yeah, but I think he maybe he doesn't know you can split it. I didn't know you could split it. I don't either. <laughs> so. Will Snake be a generous man? I doubt it. No, I didn't think so. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, so the combust... Actually, so... So so the bottom of the card triggers before the attack, then? Because it says if it's reacted to you, you get to change the range by two. So If a reaction is made to the attack after it resolves, distance changes by two in either direction. Ah, after the reaction, so the... So the reaction triggers first, and then that triggers in the attack. Okay, that makes more sense by the way it's worded on the card. I did not think that it had the little forced thing on it. So, womp womp. Well, I mean, actually, the luckily in um, Shadow Fury's favor. Oh, he's going to let him do it? Oh, no, no. Okay, he's just, no. Okay, sure. Okay, so no idea, but you get to keep your aura. Yeah, I bet he doesn't know you can split it. To be fair, I said neither did I. So, up until fairly recently. So... Yeah, I mean, this isn't really a super big punish, I don't think. I mean, it's just Snake biding his time to get his machine thing. Yep. So. I think he might discard to move forward and then analyze the attack out of the pile. Oh, a resurgence? Oh, yeah. Is yep. it immediate? I think it might be it. It's yeah. not oh. immediate. Oh. So it's still face up. Not Pog. Resurgence is at the end of the turn. End of your turn. Unless it's immediate. Opting to focus. Will he go for it now, you think? Still a pretty good Kruner Rampe, but I don't think he will. He could. Because it either freezes him completely or he takes three to life. No, that's not true. Because of the silent wall. Never mind. <laughs> Would not have been a very good move. How many actions are in Snake's deck? I have no idea. <laughs> Let's see with the specials, quite a few, but... We got one there. We're not going to count similar. Um, two, three, four total with the with the uh, no crossing and analyze and dousing. 
Yeah, it looks like he still has enough to do the godly intervention simulator if he needs to. Yeah, this game's starting to fall apart, I think, a little bit for Shadow. The life's even, but, I mean, the black box and, like, two of his specials right now are just sort of inactive at this point in the game. He just hasn't been able to do what he needs to do to keep transforming over and over again to really get his combo going. And I think uh, Snake is closer to where he wants to be. So I think we might see the focus Rhythmic Arc follow up here. but I doubt it. He's going to take this to life. Yeah, there's no way. Mm. I mean, but if he you wants can, to... You can quick change out of Sura again, but then he's going to be flinched at zero after focusing and having zero aura, and he, that's not going to go well for him. Yep. I guess, yeah. There is a series of attacks actually coming here with the burning steam as well. Because if he drops the, uh, if he drops the Asura form... That hits and that hits aura that shaves the aura down. Then he's gonna get potentially five damage with rhythmic arc and burning steam. Oh my gosh, this could be lethal. Is it? Because he has no reactions in his pool, so it actually might. Be... We'll see if he he goes for it. Wow, I look. Is like... it? I think he'll be left at one life. Um, I'm going to trust your math over mine, but let's see. So he does, if he does a Sura and Snake takes it to Aura instead of life, then he's dead. Then he takes four from Rhythmic Arc and one from Burning Steam. Let's assume he blocks correctly by taking the 3-2 to life. Okay. In that case, then the Burning Steam probably takes two Aura and you get three life afterwards. So yeah. Oh wait, can he even trigger the uh, full rhythmic arc attack? Um, not if he blocks like this. Oh no, we missed. Oh right, he had to move for the Asura form, so that's not. Yeah, I forgot. Right. I, didn't count, I didn't count for the Asura form. He has no flair for the. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah, because he. Yeah, I forgot you had. To, I keep forgetting that you have to discard or do something for the basic action. Never mind. I didn't forget oh, that. I just forgot that it was range five. I was like, oh, he has it. <laughs> I got tunnel vision. Uh, no, that whoa. stays. That stays until your turn, Shadow. Now this is where uh, this is where dreams get crushed. Potentially. Yeah, this is a I think this is a. This, oh, this yeah. has got to be the turn, right? Because he's got his whole deck here. Now, this is probably lethal from Snake. It has something to do with the time machine. Oh, it? yeah, because uh, Shadow Fury's got to reshuffle next turn, basically. So. But only if you know that Shadow Fury is bringing Rhythmic Arc. Yeah, so that's he true. A, he still so he gets to look at all of them. Yeah, he gets to look at all of them if he has mechanism and then devote one of them. And then he plays one of the devoted specials. What? That's very good. Yeah, it's actually pretty good even if you don't have the mechanism. You just have to actually survive your opponent's special first, and then you throw it back at them. That's A1, though, shenanigans, isn't it? Nope, it's both. Oh, godly? Time sheets and both? They're godly, whatever? Yep. Wow. So what does A1 bring to the table? The analyze? Uh, yeah. It brings the analyze, the dousing, and the oh. last research. Uh, which uh, can give you Grand Gulliver, which is ridiculous. But it, this still isn't lethal, though, is it? It should be lethal. He just oh, that's right. I keep forgetting the um, yeah, because he can still do the the wrong pay or whatever, right? Oh, mm, yeah, he's got plenty of flair now. He can definitely hit with both. And once he sees what all of the specials are, he doesn't have to be afraid of the uh, final stage and can follow up with his 2-3. Ah, so strong. This... All right, he has assembled Exodia. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would lose to this too. I'm actually glad I'm watching this match to get more data because I would lose to this shit 100%. I wouldn't know what's happening. Yep. Better, better count that mechanism and weep. 
So this is three life. Yep, the one one and a two two. <laughs> Shadow Fury dropping the damn it in the chat. Very frustrating because if he would have got that rhythmic arc off last turn, he would have won. But he was just short a range. Just black box they, Neo, what? and you don't get one transformation off. That's that's rough. Uh, that's conceded. He's not dead. He's uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, then he would a one and then Rupe. Yep. Shadow Fury tilted. Yeah, because like all he needed was a little bit of a range change and just one more card in order to rhythmic arc him last turn. And another one. another game decided by one bigger. Yeah. A day late and a dollar short. Yikes. Uh that was a good game though. Um pretty good showing, honestly. Like mechanically from Shadow Fury, I thought he played rather well. Um, I just think that he needed to utilize the specials a little bit more. I think that was definitely his biggest downfall there. Um, but in terms of like just moving around the pedals and utilizing his normal cards, I thought he did rather well. But it was just about, as I said, being able to play um, what his specials uh, wanted him to do. I don't think he was able to execute on that as well as he would have wanted to. But a very good game. Got yeah. to see some really interesting Karuru stuff. It looks like they played pretty well.